Now the other unusual highlight is actually the ketupat itself. And I would say that uh, if you're a satay aficionado, satay fan, huge hardcore fan, this is actually the bigger highlight. If you actually observe it at the store, it's actually wrapped in palm leaf, like how they used to do in the old days. Most satay stalls in Singapore, both Hainanese and Malay, they've practically done away with the palm leaf covered ketupat. Lah. And they only offer ketupat in green plastic film coverings. You can actually try and request it from him lah, and to actually uh, cut it in half and to leave the palm covering on. Lah. But when you break into it, right, it has this nostalgic and distinctive palm leaf aroma which adds so much to the experience of eating satay. Amazing. Look closely, the rice itself has a bit of bite and still retains some shape of the rice. So you can tell that it hasn't been overly compressed or overly steamed or anything like that. So according to Mark, there are only two supplies in Singapore that offer the original palm covered ketupat. Lah. But in order to obtain it, he has to buy some sakate. And then he just buys the, the ketupat itself. Lah. Let me go and try and buy from him. Lah. Hey, do you mind if I just buy the ketupat you cut and then I might show the palm I don't thing? Have the ketupat already, right? No more already? Ah, <laughs> ah lama, wasted. Okay. Hey, but actually, do you have any of the palm covering in the trash? Ah, but give me, give me. Never mind, never mind, never mind, it's okay. <laughs> I, I might just need to show this thing. Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. Okay, I got it here. This is the palm covering itself. So imagine the rice actually fits inside. And this itself is actually very hard to get nowadays. Lah. But if you smell it itself, right, it actually has got a very distinctive aroma to it. Mm, see? It's got that very um, palm vegetable aroma. Lah. It's very nice. He actually uh, fished it out of the trash can for me. 